<sighs> All right, I'm headed out to the work table in the forge. I'm going to take this leather I'm carrying and I'm going to be slicing it up into belts, more or less normal belts, nothing terribly special. I'm going to do some other more complicated belts in another video. But for right now, we'll start with this because it's kind of the basics on uh, belt making. So give me a minute to set this up and gather my tools. Be right back. Okay, so the first thing for belts is going to be making a straight edge that we can then make the slices off of. So luckily I've got this big old table to work from. And I have a big old straight edge to use. Oh wow, this is almost too big for this table. Okay, so I'm gonna use the straight edge. I'm gonna run a straight line down this edge. Also, for those people who wanna know, this is like a seven ounce. Yeah. Eight ounce. Yeah, it's like a seven to eight ounce. It's like a seven to eight ounce piece of leather. Uh, so, I'm gonna run the straight edge. So I'm actually running this diagonal across the table because it's a little bit longer. So as you can see, I'm trying to position this straight edge as best I can to avoid waste. Where's my razor knife? Trying to run this as straight as I can to avoid wasting leather, but there's always gonna be waste. So we do our best. As you're cutting don't try to just go straight through it multiple light passes then once you've got a decent line I actually try to remove the straight edge and then just nice and carefully run down the line After several passes and then you finally break through and you're cutting it all the way sometimes I'll actually come up from the bottom and then begin slicing it like this uh, just be real careful especially if your knife is sharp and new which I should probably have a new sharp blade and then just uh, cut down and keep following that line
reached a thick point again. So I'm gonna go back to the top for a pass. Now we have a nice straight edge established. This off cut, uh, I call it, a minute ago I called it waste, but it's absolutely not waste. It now has a nice straight edge too. So this will become uh, straps or bracelets or something. We'll, uh, we'll figure that out some other day, not right now. Now we're gonna start turning this uh, with some belts. I'm gonna be making a couple of belts of various styles. Basically, this whole thing is gonna become belts. Um, now more or less standard or just like generic belts is about an inch and a half. So I have a strap cutter. This is gonna cut perfectly straight square straps. I have it set to an inch and a half. And I'm going to take it and uh, rip a couple of nice straight edges. I'm gonna flip the camera around to get the other angle because I'm right-handed. So I feel like it'll be easier to do this if I switch around to the other side. That's actually not true. This is easy enough to do. It has a slit in here. You slip, and there's a tiny razor knife right there. Just take it in there. Hopefully the razor knife is nice and sharp. It is. And then you're just gonna draw it straight all the way down. That's it, you got a belt. Now I'm gonna do that a few dozen more times. Time lapse. Okay, so I don't know why, but my phone decided to not record the time lapse or something. Hopefully, I'll figure it out and maybe we'll have a time lapse for the video. If not, trust me, I cut all of these out myself. So the next step is going to be edge beveling. This is an edge beveler. It's got a tiny bevel in there, uh, like a blade, and then these two prongs. So you stick the corner of the leather in the little slit, and then you drag it along and cut off the edge of the leather. Give me a second, I'll get a close up. Okay, so you can see the little fork with that bevel in there. And you gotta keep this sharp. So really, if you just take a little bit of sandpaper or a piece of leather with some jeweler's rouge and strop it, that will keep it sharp. We're gonna take it. Just goes on the corner just like that it goes on the corner pretty much just like that and then you rip it drag it along or push it along and it takes off the corner you'll be able to see the little coil as it comes off
and that's it. You've got a beveled edge. Now you do that on all four corners and the whole belt will be beveled. Okay, that's all 10 belts beveled on all four sides. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's kind of like one of those little satisfying things. This is all garbage. Um, you really can't do anything with this. You can kind of braid it, but it's tremendously fragile and not worth giving it a try, in my opinion. So next thing to do, we're going to deal with the ends of all of these. Um, gonna go grab my strap end punch, super useful tool, uh, and then we're gonna punch these. All right, so I've moved inside to my table. I've got my cutting mat, piece of stone, and my cutting board. I'm gonna start working on these long belt ends. Uh, I've got a template here. It's easy enough to make one up. What I do is, from the tip, that's 5 eighths of an inch. Then this is an inch and a quarter, one inch to the end of this slot. The slot is one inch, really convenient to get a one inch size punch. Just bang those out real easy, otherwise you gotta punch holes and then slice with a razor blade. Punch is far easier. And then it's the same on the other side, it's gonna be one inch to this hole, an inch and a quarter to this hole. And now, this is nice and real easy to put on the end of this, mark these marks, and then punch the holes. Also really easy if you get, where is it, an inch and a half belt end punch. It's obviously made for an inch and a half wide belt, like that, but you can easily punch smaller things too. Just look in there and make sure that it's straight. So I'm just going to set it over here on the end of the belt, make sure it's pretty straight, give it, and then boom, that's your end. Uh, sorry. Then with a scratch all, line the end of the belt up. This doesn't have to be perfect. This is just a guide to kind of make the process a little quicker. And then just a little circle, 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 circle. Boom, now we've got our marks. Just put them in there with the drive punch. It takes a couple of tries. Boom. They've got an end of a belt. Next step I'm going to do is I'm going to color this. For color, I'm going to keep it real easy. This is an all in one dye from Tandy. This particular color is chocolate cherry. Just gonna put it on a sponge and push it on there. Right, 
is. Nice extra long chocolate cherry swordsman belt. I'm gonna give that a few minutes to dry and I'll be back and install the buckle. All right, belt's had a few minutes to dry. It's looking very nice, a little dusty, but that's not a big deal. So I'm gonna set the snaps now. Got the four parts. I've got the um, head, I guess you call it. I have the female end, male end, and then the post, I guess you'd call it. I'm sure there's real words for these, I don't know. So this is gonna fold over the buckle. So right, this part is going to be what's exposed to everybody. So that is where the shiny end goes. So shiny end goes in there. Got this little anvil thingy so that it stays nice and round instead of flattening out and then I don't think it matters which side you put in which I like putting this side on the post or at least that's what I feel like doing today got the setter you can see it's got a little bit of a ridge thing and that's what's going to mushroom it out and grab the thing so you set it in there few taps and that's pretty much it if you want to really kind of mushroom it around you can kind of take it in circles oops but that's it and now that's not going to move anywhere and then make sure when you do this that you're putting things in the correct way because once they're on wrong they're tough to get off so then this one's going to go like that. It's got its own little part of the anvil because it's got this hole. So you set it there and now it won't move. Same deal. A few good taps and it's there. You've got a functioning snap. I'm going to set the other one and come back and show you the buckle. All right, snaps are set. I've got a buckle, just a basic buckle, and the belt just slips in there. A little guy pops through. Snap, snap, and then boom, you have a belt. The snaps make it so that this can change in and out, which is great. Um, and then you've got a belt. I'll try to maybe grab a quick shot of wearing it, uh, but I probably won't do that. Um, so that's a belt. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. All that nonsense. And check out some of my other videos.